Well then, he's gonna shoot my truck, fuck my wife, and then kill me. Alright man, I don't have much, but I'm not willing to go through that. You can have my wife and kill me, but keep your dirty mitts off my truck. As a straight white man, I have many struggles. All the gays have pride celebrations, but I'm not allowed to be proud of my sexuality. <laughs> Black History Month is great, sure. But where's heterosexual white history month? Even though it's the majority of history we learn about. And to top it all off, I'm not even rich. But that's what today's video is all about. Recently, I found a rapper, nay, an ambassador of what I hope to be my future. A rich white man. And what's this hero's name? Well... Rich white man. He's not very imaginative, is he? Now we're just gonna get straight into rich white man's songs. Actually, no, from this point on, we're gonna address them for what they are. Pieces of art. The first piece of art we'll be addressing is called Counter-Strike. I don't give a fuck and I'll take your life already knowing I fucked your fucking wife. Now do you see what I mean? This is art. Not only will this rapper murder you, but it'll also have sex with your wife when you're gone. Now that's a true gentleman. Already knowing I do it all night. Don't give a fuck on my neck, ice. Nice ice you've got there, looks really expensive. I'm sorry, I'm trying to take this piece of art seriously, but that beat sounds like it's straight out of Thomas the Tank Engine. It's the kind of beat you wouldn't dance to, but plod along to. Fuck all the haters, I got them aggravated. Don't give a fuck, I just terminated. You're doing me a favor by terminating me in all honesty. He can't even keep on beat, despite the fact that it's just someone playing two notes on a piano over and over and over again. Uh and the rich white man, got the fucking bands, got the fucking fans. Got the fucking bands, got the fucking fans. Got the fucking fans. Don't give a fuck as I got the most flow. Don't give a fuck and I blast like G.I. Joe. It's funny that you mentioned G.I. Joe, which is a toy, by the way. Because rich white man's guns are as fake as G.I. Joe's. Rich white man was that special kid who bought BB guns and then spray painted the orange bit black to cover up the fact that he's a massive virgin. Rich old man. I'm real fucking buff, I'm real fucking tough. Ooh, man, look how tough he is, ooh. He's got Anthony Joshua shaking in his little booties. Now this is a real man. Ten-time arm wrestling world champion right here. He makes me look like a shrimp. Don't give a fuck, you already know that. I love how he says he doesn't give a fuck about 20 times in this song. But he's incredibly self-aware when he says, you already know that. It's as if he sat down to write another lyrical masterpiece and gone, I don't give a fuck. Actually, no, I have already said that around 50 fucking times. Your bitch on my set, don't give a damn. Don't give it enough and I'm like Uncle Sam. Music like this this is like Chinese water torture. You sit there as the monotonous beat and repetitive lyrics drill into your brain, ultimately leaving you in a vegetative state. And with that being said, let's take a look at another song. This one's called I'll Take Your Life. Straight to the point there, I like that. We're only 10 seconds into the song and he's fucking my wife again. Rich white man, I'm begging you, please stop having sex with my non-existent wife. But who could blame anyone's wife for having sex with this man? He's got a supreme belt. Which is definitely not fake. Definitely not fake. All right, yeah. Do you see what I mean about Chinese water torture? It's as if rich white man doesn't understand that a beat can have more than two notes in it. A five-year-old could make a more melodic beat than this. But a boring beat would be okay if the lyrics were at least a bit dynamic. I'm up next, all I do is flex. Well, clearly all you do is flex. You certainly don't write music, that's for sure. I wonder how rich white man even became rich. When he started writing music, was he just called white man? It's almost like his name evolved. If he became a sex offender, he'd be called rich white nuns. I'm too legit and you already know because I got the flow in. I'm at the flow and I don't give a damn because I'm about to come up. Yeah. Imagine in a line where you talk about how amazing your flow is, you subsequently mess it up and have to finish it with, uh, yeah. Clearly your flow isn't that great. Please don't shoot me with your BB gun for criticizing you, rich white man. Show me mercy. Just look how small that gun is. I would say he's compensating for something, but anyone who's willing to hold a gun like that clearly has a massive penis. Rich white man, best, best rapper, rapper in the game. game. Best producer in the game. Best producer in the game. No, 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 no. You are not a good producer. If you think your music bangs, you couldn't be more wrong. The only use I'd have for your music is during a lobotomy because this is giving me genuine mental anguish. And if all that wasn't enough, he then repeats everything he just said. Shut your truck. I fucked your wife. Don't get no fucks. I don't think twice. Already know. I take your life. Please stop. I'm not going to pretend I'm surprised at how this second piece of art played out. It's kind of hard to tell the difference between the two because they're both perfect. But let's take a look at one more because I don't think we've suffered quite enough yet. This one one is called Need No Luck and it's definitely more of a ballad. It's more melodic and heartfelt than what we've seen up to this point. Rich white man in this bitch. That fucking piano is going to be the end of me. I love how it kind of creeps up on you in this song. It's just fucking plodding along in the intro. I don't need no luck. Your truck. Wipe your wife. Don't get no fuck. Are the lyrics the same in every single one of his songs? Sorry, pieces of art. I don't have a wife, man. Who are you even having sex with at this point? That shirt makes you look like you work for Papa John's. The only thing you're picking up is a 12-inch margarita. Yeah, you're gonna lose. Don't give a fuck because I'm drinking food. Ooh, you're hard drinking alcohol. Catch rich white man at a house party with a blue WKD in each hand. He only drinks proper big boy drinks. Money got plenty, already know. Yo, bitch, give me honey. I sell the stuff. So that was probably the best lyric I've heard from him. 
but he also admits to selling drugs. No, no, no. Come on, man. You were onto something good there before you pleaded guilty to peddling class A drugs. You silly sausage. No, so him and I just hit a lick, just on a brick. Yeah. Okay, so I'm convinced he hasn't written down any of these lyrics. He just sits in front of a microphone and spews the first few words that come into mind. It's a bit like I'm Alex. Either that or he's the smart man playing the fool and he actually writes in the part where he stutters. Now that's a real intellectual. I already know, I'm one of the best on the block. If rich white man is the best on the block, then that block is not exactly blessed with talent. But he's not even the best. He's one of the best. He's definitely the best from Papa John's though. With all the recent outrage about Papa John being racist, it's unsurprising to see another employee going off the rails. I'm number one and I'm about to fucking blow. Fuck, I oh, that's a bit sad. He's talking about love. Throughout all of the flexing and spraying gats, rich white man has just wanted a bit of love. And that's the moral for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. People can be strange. They can rap about having sex with other people's wives as they raise their BB guns. But there is one thing we all share. We're all human beings. But also, this guy's a fucking nutcase. So if you see him, do a quick 180 and get as far away as possible. And with that being said, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new or have not done so already. And I will catch you next time. Mm -hmm.